good day friends it is me hl my tech and i am back with that tinkercad house my friends to get back in and adjust yours all you do is hover over it and hit tinker this my friends it's time for some upgrades so let's get cracking friends our first upgrade is going to be to put glass in our windows check out this technique just bring out a box hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville just like we did before and this time we're going to type in the number 10 same as we did before we are going to pick a color blue and then we are going to make it what's called transparent see how that kind of looks like a piece of glass we're going to take the size of it and make its thickness only three millimeters so it's the same as our window area and then we're going to nudge it into these spaces with a cool work plane trick. So when we click the work plane and we set it on the sill, we can hit the letter D and it will drop it to that exact height. When I look at this from the side, you can see that the work plane is now on that exact spot. Let's click and do shift click. So we've got the two shapes selected and let's align it with this wall. When we click a line, click on your house so it knows that's what you care about, and then we want it to align with that corner. See how when I get on the red dot, it shows me it in this location? Boom. And now we simply need to push it to right here. Are you ready for this? Work plane again. Click on that little window. So I'm going to make sure I've got the window, not the building. When I was here, it was a much bigger selection. So I'm going to click and click. And when we press the letter D, boom, it drops it into place. I'm going to put the work plane over here on this window. So it's on that edge. Let's do duplicate, which is also control D. And now when you press the letter D, that window dropped that location in one amazing step. And you can repeat that trick for all the windows you've got on your house. Now let's add an amazing doorknob. I'm gonna choose the work plane again, and I'm gonna connect the work plane to the door. That's where I wanna make my doorknob. Now a doorknob is made of a cylinder with a sphere on it, but the sphere gets squished. So we bring out a cylinder, we stretch it to crazy large while holding shift, and then we type the number one for the size of it. Use your arrow keys to nudge it down so it's into the green close to where you would put it, and then use the amazing fit view so we can get there really close. I'm going to use the minus to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to bring out a sphere and then I'm going to zoom out a little more so I can see the sphere and we're going to hold down shift and shrink this a little but then I'm going to tell you the number you really want is size 2. I'm going to use the arrow keys to get those close. Then we can use fit view to really zoom in and then squish it so it has that doorknob shape. And let's spin around from a corner and align it. I'm going to click the blue one. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to click the orange one. It says two shapes. I'm going to click the align button. I'm going to say I want the orange one to be the master. And that would be silly. We want middle there. So it's middle, middle. I'm going to switch my grid to 0.1. So it's a smaller nudge. And then we need to nudge it into the shape. You can use the cone because the work plane's over here, or you could do the control down, control up to get it exactly where you want. Once you're happy with your doorknob, click on the first piece, hold down shift, click on the second piece, and group it. Then pick a color that you think looks like a doorknob, and let's hit the sweet home view so we can zoom out, and let's put the work plane back on the ground and take a look at how awesome our project is turning out. If your doorknob is a little bit to one side, you can click it and just use the arrow keys to get it perfect. I think I'm going to do control up and raise mine up a little bit as well. I like that. Friends, I got another fun tool for you. This one is called Scribble. When you set it down, it takes you to a special window where you build your Scribble piece. I'm going to simply make a scribble dude with some spiky hair and a little body and some arms and some legs. You can make him as fancy as you want. I'm going to fill in his head and then I'm going to go to the eraser and I'm going to cut out his little eyes and I'm going to give him a little smile. 
He's not perfect, but he's fun. If you don't like what you did, you can just hit undo. Uh, you'll find that this is the only size that you get to play with, but you can use the erase with shape, and it lets you make a little different shaped mouth. So there is my little dude. When you hit done, he is in the program, and then you can squish him so he's skinny, and you can rotate him. Notice if I stay close, it snaps. If I go a long ways away, it goes one degree, and I wanna rotate him 90 degrees, and then I wanna do D to drop him so that he can be in the house. If your dude is too tall, like mine is, that's when you can use the handles to squish and adjust so he looks the way you want. And of course, you can pick whatever color you want and make him as cool or epic or goofy as you choose. Mine kind of looks a little bit like Gumby. <laughs> you guys are probably too young to know who Gumby was. If you want to change your person, if you double click them, you get to go back in. So I could take this silly foot that I made and erase it just a little bit and change it so it looks different. If I switch back to draw mode, you can see I can quickly add little toe type things and just make them look as custom as I want before I hit done. If you want two friends, you can simply click on the first one and do control D, which is duplicate, and you can make a second one as well. And then you can go in and adjust and make them as cool and as crazy as you want. You can also, friends, go to the characters. Now on characters, there are parts that you can build. You can bring out an Astrobot. When you bring out Astrobot, do understand that he's going to be quite large. But by now, we know that we can shift squish and put him wherever we want and pick any color we want as we customize our little buddy. You could scribble a face on him by using the work plane and attaching it right to his face. You can also, I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground, bring out Blanky, do the shift squish to make them small, then bring out an eye. Make sure your grid is the size you want. I'm going to go to a one millimeter grid and I can just pull that into place, do that control up to raise it up. And then I'm going to do shift squish so that his eyes are the size I want. Note the number here. When we bring out the other size, we can immediately go to that number so they are the same by just doing the type trick. Use the arrow keys and the control up. Notice mine was sunk into the head. That's actually not bad because it's easier to figure it out as you're building it. I'm going to click on Blanky and do Fit View. And then you can see how easy it is to get your dude to look exactly the way you want with all kinds of amazing, funny combinations. Do that control up to raise it up. And boom, we've got Angry Funny Bunny Dude. There are so many cool combinations. This is where you get to just have a blast adjusting, arranging, grouping, nudging until this little dude or dudette looks exactly the way you want. If you want two of the same ears instead of the bunny ear, remember you just do control D. And then I'm gonna use a sweet tool called flip. I'm gonna look at it from a corner and this arrow here flips it so it's the other way. Boom. We want a second shoe, control D, same size, and nudge it into place. If you get something like this assembled, don't forget you probably want to group it. And then also make sure if you have different colors, you can turn on the multicolor if for some reason they don't stick. This one had multicolor built in because of these two pieces we added, but that's something you can always do. I'm gonna real quickly bring out a cartoon eye for this dude, same trick, nudge it back, control up to get it into space, and then I'm gonna do this shift squish. I'm gonna do size four, and now that I know that, it's easy to set it up for the other guy as well. His eyebrows are gonna be funny. They're gonna be above his head, and I like it like that. I'm gonna do shift select, so those two are selected, and I'm gonna do a line. I'm gonna make this one the master, and I want to align it to the right and to the front and to the middle. And now I can click on the eyebrow that goes to the other side. So notice I was looking at this corner, pop, 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 pop. His eyes are at the same spot now. And if I wanted, I could do control down and put him anywhere I wanted on his head. 
I think it's funny that his eyebrows poke out above. And then I'm going to group those again so that they stay everywhere I put them. So we could rotate and have them like they're all talking. Even though these dudes look so angry. And these dudes actually look a little bit afraid. Alright friends, so we are only scratching the surface of how awesome this is. There are so many ways you can adjust. Also, if you've got a mouse, if you shift and then you right click, you can pan and that allows you to get the exact scene you want to share. And then when you hit send to, you can hit this down arrow and you can save pictures. I'm going to call this one four friends. And I'm saving it in my downloads so that way you can share it with anybody. If you make something awesome, you can also just share it with me. I am HO Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can post to there. You can also just send something to me at my HO Mod Tech Gmail. Lastly, friends, I hope you know that there are so many ways you can make yours more awesome. I'm just trying to give you ideas so that you can explore and have a blast while you make these awesome little houses or whatever scene you're choosing to create. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.